50,000 Witcher fans can't be wrong. Or can they? Here's how some of the show's most loyal watchers are trying to keep the dream of a Henry Cavill-led Witcher alive. Fans of Netflix's The Witcher are still reeling from the recent news that Cavill will no longer be donning his iconic white wig after season three. Enjoy your last walk across the meadow and through the mist. Cavill has officially laid down his swords as Geralt of Rivia and will instead be picking up that iconic red cape once again. Some have speculated that the actor's departure from the Netflix series was due to incompatible work schedules. Without a doubt, fighting crime and the forces of evil as Superman is an intensive and time-consuming position to be in. Not to mention that, in all likelihood, being part of the DC Universe pays better than acting on The Witcher. However, many fans aren't too happy that Cavill won't be returning to the role and will be replaced by Australian actor and brother to Thor, Liam Hemsworth. Out of all this discontentment, a Change.org petition emerged, similar to what happened after Game of Thrones Season 8 aired. The petition titled, Netflix, You Must Keep Henry Cavill as The Witcher and Replace the Writers Instead, has blown up, and as of the making of this video, it has reached nearly 50,000 signatures. Steph Ma, the creator of the petition, wrote in part, let us show them in pure numbers that none of us Witcher fans will stand with them and will abandon the show and potentially our subscriptions after The Witcher Season 3 is concluded. Unfortunately, this puts Liam Hemsworth, who can't be blamed for the recasting, in an unfavorable position. On an Instagram post, the Australian actor acknowledged that Cavill handed him the reins of the series' beloved protagonist. And while some commenters showed their support, many others expressed their displeasure. One of the top comments with over 5,000 likes reads, No, stop, you can't replace Henry. Witcher fans have been quite vocal about their opposition to the major change all over the internet. On Reddit, there are multiple threads about the recasting. One user wrote, Well, there goes the single redeeming factor of the show. This got several replies, including, I actually really like Joey Beatty. The Bard song is cool, and his character is slowly developing rather nicely, but yeah, other than that, you're totally right. Uh, drink? I'm gonna drink. I am not having this conversation unless I'm drinking. Indeed, one shouldn't discredit the other actors who have also fully dedicated themselves to the series like Beatty, Anya Chalotra, and Freya Allen. However, together, they don't seem to be enough to relieve fans' doubts regarding the future of the series. During his three seasons on The Witcher, Henry Cavill seemed born to play Geralt of Rivia. This was, in great part, thanks to the incredible passion Cavill nurtured for the fantasy franchise, first as a fan of the video games and later as a fan of Andrzej Sapkowski's novels. In an interview with Graham Norton, Cavill was asked whether he knew more than anyone else on set. Ever humble, Cavill denied knowing more than anyone else and just called himself a big fan. Norton then asked whether he corrected others on set, to which Cavill replied that he doesn't, adding, I, I am <laughs> effusive about getting the, uh, being, being loyal to the source material. Let's put it that way. Those are the operative words, loyal to the source material. It has somewhat become common knowledge that even those who haven't read the books, that the Netflix show, especially after the first season, strayed from Sapkowski's original story. Although Cavill has never outright said it, his comments to Norton suggest that he might not have been content with the direction the series had taken, ultimately leading to him stepping down as the monster hunter. 